So hi there, <coughs> it's the beginning of August and instead of doing a Vader this year I thought I'd do Analog August in which I talk about photography, my photography and today I'm going to start with uh, some of the pictures that I keep on my desktop as uh, screen savers. I like to put photographs on my desktop as a screen saver or as just the general background. Uh, so I need every few minutes the photograph changes into something different and they're all photographs that I've taken recently or a long while ago and I'm going to go through show you some of my favorites um, I'll start with this one a night shot taken over Manchester Road uh, standing over the uh, bridge of the road looking down uh, taken with a tripod long exposure I think it was the uh, Olympus camera, I'm not too sure. Uh, it's not that long ago, so long ago. <laughs> uh, again, taken with a long exposure, so you've got the nice light trails of the cars coming up the road and red lights of cars going down. Uh, here's another one. Not a very good picture, I must admit, but I like the little lightning blast in there. I'm sure if I scanned the film properly, I could uh, make it look even better. But. This is uh, again a photograph taken out the back window, at my bedroom window in my old house, uh, looking up, uh, looking across down at the lightning storm. Here's one of uh, Richard Dunn's Sports Centre up there in Bradford, uh, Oddsall. Again, this is a, a long exposure shot taken with uh, the Olympus, I believe. Uh, I really like how the greens came out in this photograph. Um, It's um, nice and sharp, and if you look at a big print of it, you can really see the detail in the building there. Nice bit of architecture, I guess. Here's another one. Again, another long exposure photograph. Uh, I'm not sure how long it was, because the camera was in automatic. Uh, I, I was using an Olympus at the time, an uh, OM2 spot program. Or was it just an OM2 or a spot program? I think it was a spot program. I don't think I ever owned an OM2. And uh, it had a auto exposure of up to 60 seconds I believe so you could just leave was it four minutes so it was a long exposure so you could just put it on the dark and just let it go and uh, if you go to the place I took this photograph now this is the top of the road behind me there's the M606 from the M62 motorway coming into Bradford and to the left and right of me is um, May Avenue which is a dual carriageway going across top of Bradford, or the bottom of Bradford. Looking down at that, right on that picture there, it's uh, the road generally stopped there because I think the plan, the original plan was all those decades ago to build a road going straight down to the middle of Bradford, but they just stopped it there. So behind me there's a large roundabout, still there now, but now that space there, there's now a, a hotel just to the left of that area there. and uh, and, all the, uh, and down there the built of the roads going onto the motorway and, and access to the hotel as well. And the McDonald's just across the road, off picture. Anyway, another, uh, I like this picture because you can, looking down at the bright lights into of Bradford. <laughs> How many times have people told you that Bradford is a city of bright lights? Eh? Here's a daylight photograph. I particularly like this one because uh, it's one of those things where I looked over the hedge and there's just a cat sitting there staring straight back at me and uh, it's one of those little opportunities which if you don't take it and take the picture right there then you know you're never going to see it again so I was lucky I guess that I had my camera with me this is one taken from a bus in Bradford Interchange uh, Bradford Interchange at the time was a large great big sprawling building with roads in it as you can see there. So what you can see there, that was uh, let me see, standard A. Went all the way up to E, so imagine that five times. Uh, it's not there, it's not like that anymore. Almost all of that has been knocked down and rebuilt into something smaller, neater, less brilliant, but you know, this it is what it is. I like the way this came out. I was on a bus upstairs. And I like the juxtaposition, the bus parked there, the bus behind it coming along and the man 
just walking across the road in his long coat. I was trying to do some macro work at the time, taking pictures of bees buzzing around the little flowers and uh, I don't know if I, I can't remember if I got any other decent shots but this is one that did stand out for me as being pretty interesting uh, as one that I took. Uh, shallow depth of field, got some leaves in focus there, the bee just going out of focus a bit but in focus enough that you can recognise what it is. Yeah, nice bulky as well. This was taken on a Zenit E SLR camera. And those of you who remember those will know that uh, getting them to do what you want to do wasn't always as easy as you'd like to think. But yeah, once you learned how to use it, you could uh, well, like with any camera, you could make it do what you wanted to do. Here's a close up. Well, a close, close up of a friend's eye. I remember when I took this photograph she had a qu quite a headache and having the flash going in her face was not something that she wanted the point. I did tell her that we could uh, you know, postpone do it later when she was feeling better but she said no we'll start it so we'll finish. Uh, I like how it came out nice and sharp across the eye. wasn't too happy about being able to see the uh, shade over the flash reflected in her eye but that's what eyes do, they reflect everything. This next picture is an emerging of the last two pictures. Uh, when, as these pictures are changing on the screen, I once uh, just took a screen grab or something else, and uh, a picture very similar to this turned up. So basically, I'd taken a screen grab when the images were changing. So I decided to drop these two photographs into Photoshop and just merge them myself, and. Uh, I quite like the result of this. Yeah. What do you think of that picture? Spooky, eerie, or just art? Here's a photograph of a friend of mine. Uh, one of the first photographs I took when I got a new, well not new, second hand uh, Olympus 50mm f1.4 lens, large aperture lens, very nice for portraits. And uh, I remember asking her to smile when I took this picture because the first one I took she was, wasn't smiling and she was busy doing something and, that's it. and she just looked at me and I took a picture and then I said go oh, go on smile which she did and it ended up with this lovely portrait of a friend. Another one taken at Bradford Interchange at 1800 hours, 1800 hours for two, the clock there. Um, this is in the train station part of the uh, of the uh, interchange and it was just raining and I like the atmospheric look of this picture which is another reason why I keep it on the desktop. Here's, here's an interesting one. This is a uh, not much of a big story behind this photograph but I was on the bus and that's Parkside Road there on the pavement houses, terrace houses and this fat dog lying on the pavement asleep and it did that almost every day particularly in the summer uh, you can uh, in the daytime you come across you see the dog just lying there asleep or whatever ignoring everybody who went past it and then at, uh, as, it, as uh, the day turned to evening sun setting it would get up and waddle up into the house. <laughs> Here's a photograph of a friend of mine circus performer called uh, the, uh, the circus act is called Arabesque. I think this is in the middle of Bradford, uh, Bradford uh, Festival. Um, can't remember how many years back, it's back been nearly 10 years now. And uh, <laughs> they were just goofing around at the time, and uh, she just went and made a kiss at her while I made a face, and uh, while she was making a face, and uh, I just took the snap and uh, ended up with a little picture like that. It is cropped in a little bit, but. Uh, I think it works rather well. And I'm going to finish with this picture here of Bradford City Centre. At night, the bus is going across the uh, road there. It must have been quite busy that day because there's a lot of cars going up the road. Th this would have been around 8 in the evening. So, and it's dark, so if it had been raining because you can see the road's wet. And uh, as it was a long exposure, 
using automatic exposure, uh, all, all the moving vehicles, particularly the buses there, are blurred. There's like three of them going across. And uh, I like the way this picture came out. Yeah, so if you know Bradford, you'll, you may recognise the building on the, the building there as being the uh, uh, St. George's Hall, Concert Hall, etc. And just to the right there, there's uh, the Hilton Hotel. This is the Hilton Hotel. Yeah, it's a big hotel. Don't think it's the Hilton Hotel. Anyway, uh, this picture was taken on a bridge going across the road there. The bridge's not there anymore. It's knocked down, probably to make way for the big bust of they built on the edge, on the side of the road there. So there you go. Um, not all these photographs were taken on film. Uh, at least a couple of them were taken on digital. But can you tell which was which? If you can tell which photographs were taken on digital camera, then uh, make a note in uh, in the space below, and uh, I'll tell you if you're right tomorrow. So until tomorrow, it's analog August. So. Take care.